I'm here in Metzogoyen. I'm with what's your name? Uh, Sister Josefa Maria. Where are you from? From Sister? Romania. From Romania. First time here in Metzogoyen yeah. for you? Yeah, it's maybe the third or f uh, yeah, 14th time. 14, one four. Yeah, one four. Wow. yeah one four. Why do you come back all this time? Uh, because I'm really, really sure that uh, our mother is calling me. I, I, I really uh, trust her words when she's saying that, uh, yeah, that uh, thank you for responding to my call. Mm -hmm. And even now, I'm, I, it's really the providence of God for being here. And uh, he called me and I could have the chance to, to meet my spiritual father and to, Beautiful. to spend a different and more deeper time with God and uh, thank God. <laughs> wow, beautiful. And what, what did you experience this time in Medjugorje? Oh, the providence of God and how much uh, he loved me and he's really, really taking in serious every little need and desire and because I'm really now in front of a big change in my life, in my spiritual life, in my way and I saw that God took me and Our Lady and put me here just to to keep me here and to prepare me for what will be next and in this way and every day I was experiencing something so deep and uh, just to see the love of God the Father because he's really really taking care and uh, what's happening with me is really important for him and I saw that and even when I had just a little thought I, I oh I would need this or how I will handle that or that and and immediately I saw he he appeared and he was trying to, to do something in this uh, in this situation and I'm really amazed and sometimes I'm cry of joy because it's well I know you love me I know but okay but it's it's so much <laughs> why so much <laughs> yeah and, and not to say to ask God why you love me so much like I don't believe or no I really believe but this time she showed me it's in, in so a uh, huge way mm -hmm. that I'm really oh, I, I it's hard to find words because it's really big it's really big and I'm wondering okay I know you love me but why so much why because and I and exactly yesterday I, I had a, uh, an experience in this way and I I was praying that I only wish my only desire now is just to respond to this love with all my love it's little it's imperfect it's sometimes almost nothing but it's, this is what i have and i want to give everything and more and more because he's giving me more and yeah this time Medjugorje for me meant a lot that i'm really important for god and i want to to make a step forward in this way to 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 take God in serious more and and this uh, with this prayer I came and this is also my experience that uh, I was praying that I want to learn to be very little very little not to act like a responsible adult but just to be a baby in God's arms and to learn how to walk in faith and to be total surrendered in his uh, for uh, to his mercy providence and will and to to be totally united with the fiat of our mother and and I experienced this that he's really taking care just to learn more that I should trust him in the most difficult times and even when everything contradicts uh, maybe that thing that I should trust and just to to make a step in faith I trust you even no matter what is happening no matter what what is around me and if everything contradicts this but the first moment it was that you want this or you told me my lord that I should do this this step and even if I'm afraid or I see that I don't know maybe it's contradicting yes this contradiction because I, I, I just uh, had this experience a few days uh, before to come here and um, I said no I trust you because I know that this was your will no matter what's happening I trust you I trust you if I'm wrong I trust you that you will change even this and you will and it's more easy when we start and when we move 
that God will uh, take us and to uh, to to follow us to to uh, on the right uh, way, yeah, on the right path. And um, but if we are stuck and to wait, I would like to know what's your will and oh, please show me. And it's more hard for God because we are stuck. And sometimes she, He's showing us His will, but we are not capable to. Let to move, go. to let go and to move. And when we start, just I will do this act of faith and I will go. And if I'm wrong, you will take care. And this is the little child. He's not afraid because he knows that his mother and his father, they are always there and they take care. And we don't need to, to take care of big things. We are child and we have to eat, to play, to sleep and to, I don't know, <laughs> what children does. <laughs> and uh, this is what I discover, to stop being... I don't know how to say to not sound, to not be an adult in the wrong way. Yeah, I am responsible and I have to be responsible and I'm more responsible with the days because I am, but I just have to learn how to be pure, humble and um, little, like a child, to let God act, to let God show himself how wonderful he is and how great he is. and how almighty and he has all the power and everything and just to, to give him space through this uh, act of faith and trust yeah just to let him act and show himself his uh, how wonderful he is and how much he loves us how much he loves me and if i give him space and if i i have my uh, my uh, heart open mm -hmm. He will uh, give more and more and more because li he's like a father when he sees his children very happy about a gift. He can wait to give another one just to see him. Wow, I'm so happy. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and um, why did you become a nun? Oh, it's a long story. <laughs> I didn't want. Didn't <laughs> I, want. I didn't want actually, but uh, it was uh, it's about a love story. And uh, I always wish to find someone to fight for me, to conquer me, to conquer my heart. And I saw that I, I really don't find someone mm -hmm. and I, su I was suffering, but uh, at least it was little by little. And I start to feel more uh, uh, to fall in love with God, with the church, with the prayer, with uh, religious life. And I was uh, I needed more and more to spend time with God in prayer and in adoration, especially uh, and here in Medjugorje. This is the school for me, uh, for adoration, uh, to fall in love with the sacraments, especially the adoration and the confession. And uh, I just, yeah, many, many things happened, but I, I saw that the one I needed and I wished so much to conquer, to fight for me, for my love, and to conquer my heart, it was God, Jesus Christ. And he really conquered finally my heart. and. I decided and I was here for the first time when I uh, came here for the first time in 2012 if I remember correctly yeah uh, I came for the first time I wish so much to come in Medjugorje but I, I was thinking that no this is not for me I, um, for others but not for me but when God knew this is the moment he makes impossible possible and and this is why I, I saw for the first time, since the first time, that uh, when m our mother is calling, nothing can stop. Not even the space, the time, money, and nothing. For her, everything is possible when she, just she needs our response. And this is all. And to trust. And I came here and some uh, Franciscan uh, father saw something in me and he, he asked me, Look, would you like to come again? Oh, Father, I would like to come and to stay more. You have the chance now. And we were right in the front of um, a community here. And he showed me the door. <laughs> and I was amazed. What, 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 what's happening? What's happening? Because a year ago, I, I felt this huge desire. I, I was scared. I, I was, what's happening with me? Because I always wish to have a family. And I believe in a good family, a beautiful one. But uh, this desire was uh, beyond my my will. I, I was I was scared. I couldn't understand what's happening with me. 
but it was something like no i i don't want i i'm scared what what what's this it's but i was feeling a desire so strong and but this area it was stronger than my will and my understanding and it was something yeah but i would like it's okay what's this and for one year i received this um advice to just to stay like this to take no decision for nothing just to let uh, this calling to grow and to see and exactly after a year i i came here in medjugorje and this uh, franciscan uh, told me and he asked me tell me did you thought uh, to give yourself to god i was <laughs> i don't know no 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 tell me Oh, near ago <laughs> welcome <laughs> he said and then i start i i made my my experience of vocation and yeah it's a long journey since then and uh, and now i'm here to another step to the sun changing in in this way and 